Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly videos for all zodiac signs. Um, we're going to start off with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. When shuffling the deck, uh, these cards popped out, uh, and it is exactly the cards that uh, we're doing the readings for, so I'm just going to go with it. I feel like this is a message that is going to be directly, um, directly to you, Aries, and this is a message that Spirit wants to get across. Uh, so again, um, we're going to be doing the, the tarot right after the tarot. We're going to be pulling major arcana, uh, right after that, we're going to be pulling out a Oracle card from shadow work to see what it is that you guys need to be working on as we are doing the videos, uh, or the reading, sorry. Um, tonight it, it is exactly 3 46 AM in the morning. Um, we just experienced the full moon. I was feeling extremely energetic uh, after doing spell work. So uh, it was almost like the green light. Um, just get to the readings. I feel like uh, the messages are just coming through very strongly. Just by looking at the cards, I was already receiving the messages. So let's get into the reading for you, Aries. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, we are currently experiencing the full moon in Scorpio. Now, this is heavy, emotional, energetically charged full moon, as with any full moon. But with Scorpio, the message here is to conceal or reveal. That is the full moon in Scorpio. And it is actually forming a harsh T-square with Saturn in Aquarius and disruptive Uranus in Taurus. Situations could hit a boiling point. Now, for those of you Aries out there, temper and poise is going to be very important for you guys. Uh, not allowing other people to get the best of you. If you feel like you are being triggered in some shape, way, or form, hold back your reaction and analyze before reacting. Okay? Um, and this is with any sign, really. Uh, because it's it's with the full moon in Scorpio, it's more about reacting on an emotional versus analytical. So when we introduce those elements, as an example, if you're having a situation or something that arises where you're not like you're reacting based on emotion, if triggered, you can say or do things that you later regret. So it's very important to try to have control over our emotions uh for now in the next coming weeks because that's going to be triggering or it's going to be amplifying those energies okay so let's get into your reading aries let's see what spirit has for you guys uh like i was saying i was shuffling the deck and the cards started popping out left and right um so we're gonna start off here we have the four of pentacles okay and this is how we're starting off the month of may 2021 the Four of Pentacles speaks to me about you guys currently experiencing or feeling a desire to protect yourself, your emotions, to protect what you've worked hard for or what has caused you sweat, blood, and tears. This could be financial. This could be your possessions. This could be your children if you have children. This could be relationships or the ending cycles of relationships where in the past you were hurt. Um, there was some experiences that you had to go through that could have tainted you or could have kept you from being open or ready to open up. There is still a feeling of having to protect yourself because it could be a defensive mechanism for others of you. It could be the feeling of, I don't want to go down the same route, so I'm just going to protect myself. Um, when we're talking about finances, it could be the, the feeling of not wanting to overspend or basically count every penny that comes out. And it's not in a negative aspect. I feel that it has more to do with, I don't want to go through what I've experienced already. So whether it be in love or whether it be in finances, what they're telling you here, Aries, with the 10 of cups and the four of wands, 
There is emotional fulfillment or stability that you're seeking or have been seeking will be manifesting for you. But you have to let go of the fear of losing or getting hurt. Okay? So what they're saying here is the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands is happiness. This is the end all be all. This is the I'm stable and I am emotionally fulfilled or I have found the person that is ideal for me and being able to live in the moment. And this is very Aries energy. But I feel that with the four of one, uh, sorry, not the four of one, the four of pentacles, this is the fear of you allowing yourself to experience those experiences or that happiness or the fear of when things start to go well in your life, you're expecting the worst. And again, we're talking about past experiences. Scorpio's full moon does deal with karmic lessons. It does deal with past life experiences even. You may be experiencing situations that um, on a subconscious level, you start to do certain things that you're not even aware why you're doing it. And it starts to trigger or it starts to unfold and you have a deeper knowing or understanding that the reason for that is because of past experiences that you've gone through or lessons that you have gone through. But with the high priestess here, what they're telling you is you've already learned those lessons, Aries. You've already came out. And if you haven't yet, you will be coming out of that darkness. You will be able to experience happiness, fulfillment, stability. But you have to let go of the fear of losing it all or of not attaining it. It's kind of like when we go through these karmic cycles or, or lessons in life that we have to get through, you become stronger, yes, but sometimes you attach yourself so much to that reality that moving forward, you're in the fear that you don't want to go back to what you went through at some point in time. And what they're telling you, you've learned those lessons, Aries. Let go of that. Let go of it because it's preventing you from your happiness. It's preventing you from fully experiencing the beautiful manifestations that are going to be unfolding before you. You often forget to live in the present. And that's very rare because Aries is a sign that often lives in the present, right? You guys are spontaneous. You guys are like, let's do it. But throughout some time now, it's like either you've been trying to cultivate a relationship and it just hasn't worked out. You've tried to cultivate your career or finances and it almost feels like you've had to struggle or go through obstacle through obstacle. And it's it's this mundane type of energy where you're just like I just don't want out I just don't want to go back to what I've been through and what they're telling you is you're not going to go through that anymore you've already learned those lessons let this full moon in Scorpio let those lessons die out let them remain in the underworld in the past live in the present now you have the queen of pentacles you may be dealing with earth energy Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You may also be dealing with water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see fire here as well. Leo, Sagittarius. Aries here present as well. Page of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So I see all the signs here. And what they're telling you here with the Queen of Pentacles is be grounded in your goals, in your aspirations. Be grounded. Be clear and concise on what it is that you want. With the two of cups right at the center, love is coming your way. Whether you're ready or not, if you're currently in a relationship, some type of some type of higher commitment is coming through. Now, we have three pages here. Endeavors. It's setting on, on a new journey. It's moving forward towards a new beginning. Page of Wands. It's taking action. You move forward in certain aspects. Page of Swords, you get in your head. And Page of Pentacles, it makes you freeze or it makes you stop. 
either stopping to wait for the right moment, stopping because you got too much in your head with the page of swords here, overthinking, overanalyzing, whatever it is. It's like you start off taking action. Then an inconvenience happens. You overthink, overanalyze, and then page of pentacles, you stop or you give up. They're telling you don't give up. If you want to see the full manifestation of abundance and financial stability here with the nine of pentacles, it's coming towards you, Aries, but don't give up. Don't give up. You have to keep marching on. You have to keep doing what you're doing and stick to it. Yes, life is about sometimes experiencing inconveniences, but it is about the, the strong knowing that you're going to make things happen regardless. So the center of this reading is focus and determination. You will attain what you're wanting. The, the happy marriage, the commitment, the finding, or even for some of you guys feeling like you're never going to connect with someone on a deeper level because you feel like you're the oddball or you feel like you're what people consider the black sheep, right? In reality, you just have not met a person that is connecting with you on a soul level. But you will. And when you do with the two of cups, you didn't work out in the past with other people. You will understand why for some of you guys, you categorize people or you put them or you felt like you can only share certain aspects of yourself. It was because you had not met a person that was going to want to make you open up. All right, very strong messages here. Let's see what energy you need to embrace for this month of May, 2021, Spirit. What is the energy that Aries needs to embrace for this month of May, 2021? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys, the Sun card. The sun is blessings. This is knowing your power. This is understanding that even if people pretend, and I'm talking about people from your past or people that are around you, even family members that doubt you. This is about them pretending or you thinking that they're not noticing your hard work, that they're not noticing the moves you're making, but they are. And they're telling you right here, continue shining, continue continue pushing through Aries because you're going to find your blessings. If you search, you shall find. So it's about not giving up, Aries. Let's see what you need to work on for this month of May 2021. What is the energy that Aries needs to work or concentrate on overcoming for the month of May 2021? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I see commitment for a lot of you guys. I see a soul type of connection, a connection with a person that may be extremely spiritual or you yourself may be on the path of enlightenment. Wetlands. Mirrored. So what they're telling you here is, again, we go back to that of there's almost asphyxiation with you, Aries, about I don't want to make the same mistakes I've done in the past or I don't want to be in a current situation or circumstance that I've been through in the past because I, I've been through it. It's been difficult. Da, 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 da. What they're telling you is you've already overcame those lessons. You've already ended those cycles in your life. You got to let go of those fears. Because see, whatever we put out into the universe, that is exactly what's going to echo back to us. That is what, it's a mirror effect. So if you continue living in the past, whether it's because I don't want to do what I've done in the past, you are only setting your future to continue bringing to you situations, circumstances that make you feel like that what you've been trying to prevent. So it's about letting go of that and embracing. This can also speak about being grateful or learning to be more grateful, being more thankful. Gratefulness 
is the path to manifestation. Count your blessings, Aries. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you have, definitely comment below. Let us know. I wish you guys the very best. Full moon blessings to all of you guys, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.